At least eight people are dead and several missing after flash floods swept through a town on the Utah-Arizona border. DJ Bowlerjack shows us how strong the current was that took the whole area by surprise. Workers use heavy equipment to clear mud, trees, and debris from the scene of last night's flash floods. The hood of a car is barely visible in the devastation as rescuers search for five people who were swept away. At least eight people died. With rushing water all around them, several women and children were pulled from this stalled car Monday night. Yeah, they're getting everybody out. Witnesses captured this dramatic scramble to safety as the water roared down a mountain and through the surrounding canyon. One of the uh, ones that were rescued was about half a mile downstream. The city of nearly 3,000 is prone to flooding, but not like this. And they had stopped outside of that flood area and were standing there watching the flood. and a flash flood came down the canyon. Basically, the vehicles were swept into the creek and down. We have 16 people involved between the two vehicles. One was a, a fairly good-sized van full of people. Volunteers, including women in long dresses, helped search for the missing throughout the night. The community of Mildale is part of the headquarters of the Fundamentalist Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, one of the largest Mormon fundamentalist denominations. Crews will continue their work clearing debris and searching for survivors, but they're also keeping an eye to the sky. Forecast calls for more rain and thunderstorms. DJ Bowler Jack for CBS News, Hilldale, Utah. The fires raging out of control this morning are some of the most destructive that the state of California has ever seen. Evacuees are pouring into shelters and campgrounds. Many people barely escaped racing through streets with flames blocking main routes. Hundreds of families have lost everything. Firefighters are facing strong winds and endless miles of dry timber. The Red Cross is arranging for meals, clothing, and medical supplies to help the survivors. Today's forecast is expected to bring cooler temperatures, which will certainly become a welcome change. There are no classes today at Delta State University in Mississippi, a day after a professor was murdered there. Authorities believe the history teacher was shot and killed by Shannon Lamb, also an instructor at the college. Lamb took his own life last night as police closed in on him. The woman he lived with was found dead in a town nearby. No motive has been released. Students, faculty and staff are invited to campus to attend a vigil this evening on campus. And switching gears, a big thank you to my partner, Carrie Clark, and all the folks over at this year's celebrity cow milking at the Tennessee State Fair. No, I was not excited. A very special thanks to Tony. <laughs> That's Tony with an I, the cow, who allowed me to get up close and personal with her. This is the fourth year in a row for us to take the title, my third year, and a special congratulations to all my media friends who competed. This year it was actually very, very close. So, by the way, the Tennessee State Fair runs through this Sunday. Meryl? Your trophy right there. <laughs> Just happen to have this with me, carrying it with me today. Well, and I think you should. Congratulations. How'd you learn to do that? Uh, YouTube? <laughs> really? <laughs> That's my secret. Hey, don't give away your secrets. We oh. don't want the other stations beating you. <laughs> this is true. <laughs> Congratulations, Vicki. That's you. great.